Hello grabbers and welcome back. We wanted to talk to you today about an item that we recently sold. Um, it's not really an item that we typically deal in, but it was a very special item to us. It was my first car, mm -hmm. my first vehicle. Yeah. We were friends at the time and Shayna uh, took money off her credit card to pay for this car for me. And then I got a job and paid all the money back, right? Yeah. That pretty much the way it went? Yeah, he, he paid me back. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so naughty. I'm just kidding. It was a 1984 Ford Bronco 2. It didn't have a fancy paint job on it. It was primer gray. The interior was in decent shape. Everything worked. I was working at a glass shop and I finally blew the motor up. At the time, I didn't know how to fix it. So we parked it and it sat there for... Oh, shoot. I would say over a year. Right? Yeah, it was... It was a while. Anyway, uh, ended up with a couple other vehicles in between there and then started a job at a mechanic shop where I learned everything I know now basically about cars and at that mechanic shop we eventually got a loan and this was after we were already dating. Yeah. We got a loan and put about eight grand into the Bronco. Yeah. And we put in a, a remanufactured motor and put in new clutch. We did new brakes all around, new wheel bearings, new U-joints. We pretty much upgraded the whole thing. kind of crazy because the heads on the new motor pretty much blew and cracked right away. It sat for even longer waiting for other heads to come in. After about a year of that first motor being in there, the heads cracked again. And at that time I had a parts Bronco. I took the heads off of that parts Bronco and fortunately those ones weren't cracked. And I put those on there and those lasted basically the rest of its life. They're still on it right now. Right, I was gonna say, I don't know that much of the detail of like the engine <laughs> part. <laughs> yeah. We did all kinds of stuff to this Bronco as a family and by myself. Yeah. I did a little yellow striping on the inside. I made my own emblems on, on the outside, my own little lightning D. Yeah. I put a purple sheet on the headliner, plastic piece on the back by the back window that as a family we got one of those random packages of 500 stickers or so. And as a family, we all put stickers on that thing. Yeah, on the back hatch. Like yeah, on, on the back hatch. Yeah. Also, the, the headliner kept kind of sagging, so I had to think of a way to put that up there. We decided to go with one-inch button pins, kind of also a random deal, kind of like the stickers, and we just put button pins all over the ceiling. Yeah, those were super cool because they're like 80s music and yeah. some cartoons. They were just like super cool, like miscellaneous, just like super cool like art types and, and it did a really good job of yep. pinning it pinning the liner up to the ceiling it was like Bronco. looking up at stars yeah it was super neat
then we made a big move and we brought it with us. Hauled it across country yeah. and I still drove it for a long time. Started having some issues with it. I was afraid the head gaskets were blown while I was trying to diagnose that part. I think the head's cracked again. So we posted it for sale, uh, decided it was time to let somebody else enjoy it. Yeah, give it a better life anyway. Yep. To this day, I still never painted it. It was, it's still primer gray. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it looked really cool like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it was pretty cool. It was, it was in a way a sleeper, but didn't yeah. necessarily have a hopped up motor in it or anything. Yeah. The gentleman who came and bought it, it was actually, he said that his first vehicle was a Bronco 2 as well he didn't have a chance to drive his first vehicle because his dad had sold it before he had a chance. So that, that was pretty neat to be able to sell it to another guy who appreciated him and was going to take care of it. And we hope that it's having a good life right now. Yeah, and like when he came to buy it, like the Bronco just, it started right up. <laughs> yep, started right up. Didn't act like funny at all. Like it didn't even all. have a problem. <laughs> yep. It was emotional for sure. Yeah, it was it was hard. And like yep. obviously it wasn't my it wasn't my vehicle. It wasn't definitely wasn't my first vehicle, but um it's been in the family shoot. Like he he owned it for 10 years yep. and we've been er married for 7 years, so like it's been in my family. Well, you know, I've had it for 10 years too. It just mm -hmm. wasn't mine. Right. And so like yeah, it was pretty emotional like we, of course, we made the decision, and we stand behind our decision because it was a good decision. We didn't want it rotting out in our driveway, but mm -hmm. it was it was pretty emotional just because, you know, you kind of get attached to things and things that, you know, have been with you through a lot of different life stages. Yeah, and stuff you learn on or put work yeah. into. For sure. That was definitely yeah. a guinea pig for his mechanic abilities for yeah. a long time. For sure. Grace always said that um, when she was way younger, she, like, loved it. Like, she knew when he was coming home because it had a different sound to it, like a unique sound. Like, we always knew when he was coming home because we could hear it. Yep. And then Grace would always say that she was going to have the Bronco when she grew up. She wanted it to be her first car when she grew up. And then um, same with uh, Angie and Gideon. They really liked it, too. And Gideon started right at the very end of us owning it, Gideon really started getting attached to it. And so it was a really good, it was a really good vehicle. We mm -hmm. really enjoyed it as a family. Now it wasn't a family car because it didn't have enough, enough seat belts for all of us. Right. So it was a special trip. Every time the kids got to go with him, he would take them on special trips and like to town or whatever, to the store. But we weren't ever able to go as a whole family in the car just for mm -hmm. safety reasons. Yeah. Did you see my tattoo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Got it. Yeah. For my birthday. Some Dakota was like, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, you know what? I want a tattoo. And he's like, dude, good idea.
build it with a car that is mine. And dad was helping him and mom was cooking and we were waiting for him to be done. And what did you like best about the Bronco? What was your favorite part? The bay. The bay. Say it out loud. The bay. The bay when we were painting. When we were painting? The the Oh, the when we were spray bronco. painting the Bronco? Yeah. That was your favorite part? Yeah. And we bathed, bathed it, and we bathed the baby. Yeah, spray paint. They painted the bronco, and I'm done. And mm -hmm. your turn? My turn? Yes. Yes. Yep. yes. And then my turn. Yep. We said the bronco because we were done with it, and Mom got it for Daddy. A few years ago, and Mom always like to get stuff for that. Oh. And that's it. <laughs> Talk about some of the cool things yeah, you liked what about was it. What's your favorite part about the Bronco? What'd you like about it? Yeah. So. I like riding it, and I like painting it. Yeah. I liked I like the part where I I got to ride in it. Without Angie and Ian, with Dad. Yeah, that was pretty special, huh? Yeah, I think I did it twice. I think you did it more than twice, but yeah, probably. Maybe three. <laughs> Maybe that's all you can remember. <laughs> and I liked that it was I'm part of our family. Like. What else do you guys remember about it? I remember getting my hands blocked by touching it. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. And I got it on my lips. Yeah, that's because you licked the Bronco. No! <laughs> I, I, I kicked it. Oh, you kissed it. Because <laughs> it was milk. Yeah. And then, and then I liked it apart. Well, well, uh, well, I liked it apart about, uh, I was going to say who to the little circle thing, and then there's a black line here. Yeah. <laughs> that was my funny part. About the Bronco. My turn. Do you guys miss the Bronco? Yeah. yeah. I kind of. He was my favorite guy in the whole world. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> yes. I'm. I. Which one? Miller? Yes. No. I got a little bit miss You kind of a little bit miss it. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know if I. Anything else you guys want to say about it? Mm, bye. Bye. I don't know. One thing to answer. Uh, I miss it a little bit.
quite the creeper right now. <laughs> Dakota's trying to do the Bronco transaction, so I'm trying to be discreet about my filming. <laughs> Thank you for watching, Grabbers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs>